What I'm going to show you now is how to um, extend your tuner range a little bit more to help you with one or two bands that may be a little bit high. Um, a lot of people go into the tuner settings and adjust them. What that does is it adjusts the range of the tuner by adjusting the accuracy of the meter on the front. It doesn't necessarily um, make the tuner tune a lot more. But this modification allows you to tune maybe one extra band that's slightly high. And um, I only use 80 to 15. And as long as my wig covered that, and it was covering up to up to um, 17 meters, but it wouldn't cover 15, um, even though it was quite low on on um, 17. Now, what I'll do is I'll quickly try and show you how that's done. Um, but trying to hold a camera, what you do is you turn off the radio. And you press those three buttons in, which are called IPO, NB, and AGC. So what you do is you press those three buttons with those three fingers, at the same time turning on the wig. And you hear a beep noise, and it will come up with a menu that says 20. And what you do is you turn the, in this shifter backwards until it goes to Hi-Fi 1 SWR it sets at 85 uh, so what you do is you push it at the 110 that gives you a just over 25% more tuner range just a tiny bit over do not go any more than that you're going to be pushing it too far and you're going to damage the tuner um, go to the next one and I'll just set it back to 85 so you can see just so you won't know and you turn that also to 110 or as I call it uh, deep, and you do the same with the other one it's set at 85 when you go in there all you have to do is turn it up to 110 a lot of people are turning these up to 150 gone don't do that, it's too much, and you're going to damage the flipping tuner, there's no point. You just need a little bit more range if one band is slightly high. Um, it makes more difference adjusting this when you're in the bands at the top than at the bottom. It doesn't make much difference when you turn it up a little bit on the lower bands, but it does when you're on the upper bands. Um, so, that's what you want. If you can adjust HF1 SWR to 110, HF2 SWR to 110, HF3 SWR to 110. There are two menus either side. One says 50 SWR 84. Do not touch that one at all. There's one before the SWR setting called 50 RALC. It set it 59. Do not touch that either. The only ones you need to touch is HF1 SWR, HF2 SWR, HF3. It is originally set those menus at 85. So if you want to sell the wig or you just want to go back when you've got a better aerial, go back and tune it back to 85. Don't leave it at 110. But this is good for an emergency if your antenna's a bit high. Don't do it more than that. Some people are winding them up to 150 plus. That's ridiculous. You're going to burn the bloody radio out. Um, it's okay if you're losing lower powers like I do. Um, the most I ever use is 50 watts. I don't use any more. So I can afford to calibrate the tuner to tune a bit more. Because I'm not using as much power. If you're using, say round about 50 watts, if you're a 2E0 and you're running 50 watts you can afford to do this mod and have a little bit more range on the tuner but please, um, don't go mad put in up about 25% which is between 106 and 110 
and that will give you a little bit more range and you won't cause a problem with the radio if you're operating 50 watts. I wouldn't be a bit dicey if you're running higher powers because you're going to be putting more strain on the tuner. Um, but this modification or adjustment is at your risk. This is not my risk. I don't want anything to do with it if you mess it up. Mark the menus that you go through, what numbers they are. Make sure you get it right. If you think you've got it wrong, look at what you've written down and check again. Don't just go in like a bull in a china shop. Make sure you know what you're doing and if you don't feel competent, please don't do this. But I'm just telling you, you can do this in an emergency. Um, but please don't go mad. Don't screw it up. And um, because you don't want to send your wig back to Yesu because you turned all the other ones out as well as those three. So the ones you're looking for is HF1 SWR, HF2 SWR, and HF3 SWR. You don't need to move any others. And only move them to about 107 or 110, which is going to give you a little bit more, just a little bit more. Uh, what I'm going to do with mine is I'm going to tune mine back to 107. And the reason I'm going to do that is because it's given me exactly 25% more ability to tune that band. Because it's 85, I've moved it to 107, which is 25%. But please don't add more than that. And um, you might be able to go up to 110 if it's really if you really need it but uh, tune it between 107 and 110 and you'll be fine and keep your power to about 50 watts when you go up to 24 watts a bit high it's still a little bit high it's a uh, 3 to 1 it says 3 to 1 on there when you go to the 9 that bar hits the 9 what you'll find is that will make a beeper noise but it will still tune it will tune up to that 9. In fact, it will tune up to nearly the 20. So this is just giving you a little bit more on one band. But if you've got bands like 24, which is right to the end, that band is obviously well out. And adjusting that adjustment in there, you're tuning an antenna, which is really bad, and it's not, not worth it. And same with 28. If you're using things like 12 meters and 10 meters, you really need a vertical or a separate antenna because you're going into much higher frequencies. But you can get away with doing that modification for doing, say, 80 to 15 meters. Um, it might work on 160 if your antenna is a bit better. Um, I tried 160 and. Um, it's at the end on 160, so it's at affinity, so you don't really want to do that. But if it's a bit high on 24, like mine is, it's touching the 20, and it's just not quite doing it, and then then a little bit of a tweak on that is fine. Um, so I say keep it to 7, 107, which is 25% more, and that will give you the capability of just being able to tune one extra band that's a tiny bit high. So I do hope this has been useful. But please be careful uh, when you do this. And if you're not sure what you're doing, don't do it. I'm not responsible. Uh, make sure that uh, you take a pen, mark everything down. And before you press that F button, which is the store button, Make sure you've done it right, because if you press that and you messed it up and you do not remember what you've done, you can end up opening a can of worms. Uh, there's one guy on the internet has turned that, made it 150. He said it can tune 5 to 1. To make that tuner tune 5 to 1 is ridiculous. You are trying to double its range. If you can sort of make it go, say, 
3.5 instead of 3 to 1 or even 3 to 3 just if it's a little bit high as long as it's below that line it will tune so if you only have to adjust this to 100 to get it below the 9 then do that but um, I found 107 just gives you that little bit extra um, but um, that's up to you 73's to everyone so if you're on M0 and you only use like I do 50 watts or a 2E0 or you're a foundation and you're only using 10 watts you can afford to move that meter a little bit um, it will give you just a little bit more but um, don't overdo it and don't take a screwdriver to it that, that's the worst thing you can do stop messing around inside unless you know what you're doing Anyway, thank you, and 73s, or Satata Trezes as I call it.